<sighs> Snakes, fish, even this insanely cute cat yawns. And chances are, you just yawn too. But if you didn't, you might be a sociopath. I'm gonna shoot straight with you. Yawning is one aspect of science that has so many theories and so very little proof. So, I'm gonna tell you about what we do know. Are you awake now? Is your heart racing? This is the most common theory of why we yawn. To wake up. This theory suggests that we yawn to increase oxygen levels into our body. By taking a deep breath, we increase oxygen. And by exhaling, we expel CO2, arousing both the body and the mind. In fact, some studies have shown that yawning can increase heart rate by just 30%. There is one problem though. If this theory were correct, we would be yawning every time our bodies need more oxygen. Like when we go running. Or do push-ups. I can't believe you parked so close, you're gonna curb my- or yelling, tires, that's so ridiculous, I mean, come on! This theory was put to the test by Robert Provine, a neuroscientist at the University of Maryland, who increased oxygen levels in the air to see if people yawned less, and they didn't. So that theory is kind of bust, and pretty much ends the argument. Another theory, one with much more solid evidence, suggests that yawning is actually a thermal regulation mechanism. Just like circuit boards in computers, our brains can actually overheat. In fact, our brains use up to 40% of our metabolic energy. Oh my god, it's overheating. It's overheating! Thank god. By opening our mouths wide and taking a deep breath, the blood in our nasal and oral cavities gets air ventilated, chilling our blood and bringing cooler blood back to the brain very similar to how a car radiator works. In a 2007 study at SUNY College, participants who watched a video of others yawning and held a cooling pack to their head yawned 9% of the time, while those who held a warming pack to their head yawned 41% of the time. Further backing up this theory, right before we go to bed and wake up, our bodies, and hence our brain, are at its highest temperature, which is also when we are most likely to yawn. Oh. And since our brains work better when they're cooler, like electronics or car motors, it makes sense that we feel refreshed after a good yawn. Ah, huff. And it's this biological need to keep our brains from frying that may have led to the yawn becoming a social behavior. Way back in the day when we were running from saber-toothed tigers, this subconscious behavior could increase the chances of survival. I yawn to stay sharp, she yawns to stay sharp, we're better off together both being ready for any type of danger that may be present. It has been found that about 65% of people will spontaneously yawn when watching a video, seeing a picture, or even just reading about yawning. 
Yawning is very closely associated with empathy, the ability to feel what others are feeling. In fact, those who score higher on empathetic scales tend to yawn more when they see other people doing it, and vice versa. Which is why those who display sociopathic behavior might not yawn ah, watching others yawn. And it's not just humans that have the yawn contagion. It happens in chimpanzees, baboons, macaws, and even dogs. However, dogs are cross-species, meaning if the dog's owner yawns, then the dog will yawn too. And this makes sense, because contagious yawning tends to happen more often the closer you are genetically and emotionally to the initial ah, ah, yawner. <clears throat> I guess you know who your real friends are, don't you? Did you yawn yet? Let us know in the comment section below. If you guys like this video, check out The Richest, the world's leading source of shocking and intriguing content surrounding celebrities, money, global events, society, pop culture, sports, and much more. Look out for their new video, Top 10 Useless Body Parts That We Just Don't Need Anymore. Big thanks to Action Leo for putting a giant hole in my wall, but also for creating a super awesome fight scene. Head over to Leo's channel to watch some choreographed fight scenes. You might even learn how to kick some butt yourself. If you like this Nickipedia video, click to subscribe. We have new videos every Wednesday.